Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is, May the Lord of Peace give you peace. Beloved family, our text says, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand, which is the distinguishing mark in all my letters. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. 2 Thessalonians 3, 16-18 This is a greeting and salutation distinguishing all the Pauline letters in the New Testament. The words I want to amplify are, May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. Let me add a highlight to these words. In all times and in every way. May Christ Jesus be our peace in life and in death. I was speaking to a dear friend the other day who lost a loved one, and a phrase that I use in response to it, and many of us use almost automatically, is may they rest in peace. We say this when someone dies, even if we know them or not, may they rest in peace. For our text says, may the Lord of peace give you peace at all times. That is in life and in death. Uh, now the word Lord means owner, as in landlord, the owner of the land. So the Lord of peace is the owner of peace. And only the owner of peace can give away that which he owns. This is why King Jesus is the Lord of Lords. He's the owner of owners. Walk with me here. So back to this common response to death that we use all the time. Rest in peace. The Holy Spirit is reminding us that those who rest in peace are those who rest in Christ. Ah, uh, Why? Because King Jesus Christ is the Lord of peace and the Prince of peace. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. He is our Wonderful Counselor to give us counsel, to teach us the word and ways of the Everlasting Father, to give us peace in life and in death. For we should strive to rest in peace as we live in peace. Ah, Holy Spirit, I like that. We know that the thief on the cross lived as a thief but was condemned on the cross. But he was able to rest in peace before he died because he accepted the Prince of Peace who said today, You will be with me in paradise. Oh, but family, my point here is not to live hellish throughout your life and then say at the end, at your death, now I want to be saved. No, no, no. That is the wrong motive and the wrong thinking. Be joyful in hope, the text says, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless them, do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony and peace with one another. Do not be proud. Be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you live at peace with everyone Romans 12 12 to 18 and Paul continues if your enemy is hungry feed him if he is thirsty give him something to drink in doing this you will heap burning coals on his head do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good Romans 12 20 to 21 this seed today is not to discourage you about death but encourage you about life. 
Death has an appointment with us all. But King Jesus conquered death by allowing you and I to rest in peace when we die, providing we accept the Lord of peace as the Lord and Savior of our lives. And for family members, loved ones and friends that we know, encourage them to accept Christ, the Prince and Lord of Peace, who says the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 26 to 27. So today, the Holy Spirit of the living God is simply reminding us of the words of Christ. In order for you to truly rest in peace, you need to accept Christ so that you can rest in him. Because the world says rest in peace, meaning one no longer has to deal with the struggles of this world and issues of life. But if one is not in Christ, there is a place of torment upon death, which is much worse than what we are living in this life experience on earth right now. Finally, King Jesus says, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will give rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden I give you is light. And if you trust me to carry all your burdens of this life, you can live in peace and rest in peace. May the Lord of peace give you peace. Much love.